So, a couple of weeks ago, we drove up to Tampa. Hello, everybody. Today we are going to Tampa, to the Tampa RV Super Show. So, uh, we'll be there in four hours. We have arrived at the Florida RV Super Show, which is taking place right here at the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa. Let me give you a little bit of a background on this. Ever since we rented a Class C motorhome back in 2011, we've had this crazy idea about buying one. Actually, we thought about it even earlier when we drove on the Dalton Highway in Alaska and saw lots of RVs and thought it would be nice to make that trip in our own home on wheels. Back to the present, we are here in Tampa, and although we have a pretty good idea of what we want, let's browse around on the way to where our preferred unit sits. At the entrance, they have the Airstreams, which have these iconic aluminum frames. They also have the Prevo bus conversions, which are so luxurious that they are by appointment only. We also check out this uh, Class B unit by Road Trek, since we are in the area. Super show special. They are very maneuverable and great for a weekend escapade. And it has almost everything a real RV has, but it feels kind of claustrophobic and uh, no storage. And really, not what we're looking for. This is the perfect time because as you can see, there's uh, very few people in the show. We can see everything more calmly. What we want is something in which we can full time, which in RV lingo means living in the units all the time. And we want something short enough for good maneuverability and to be able to stay in many national parks. So we're going to have to compromise somewhere. And the best compromise we've found so far is this. The Itasca Sunstar 27N. Even the name sounds nice. Let's climb inside of what I believe will be our next home. Ever since we saw this floor plan online, we fell in love with it. So we're already kind of biased. It has a computer workstation on the passenger side. We like the dinette with storage underneath. And the kitchen with all the counter space and storage above and below. Huge drawers. It has a standard gas and electric fridge. The bathroom is adequate with more storage and even a water pump switch. Hi, well, I'm here getting uh, used to the facilities. And as you can see, if you come this way, I can fit in the shower, which is awesome. Bye. Moving along to the bedroom, we like all the drawers underneath. And the closet. and more storage under the bed and the pantry and all the controls which are organized in one place We want to keep an open mind and out of curiosity we also go into other units even if they don't exactly meet our needs or fit our budgets for that matter like this Itasca Meridian diesel pusher Another Meridian. These are nice. We continue here at the RV show. There's a bunch of uh, fifth wheels and we're not really interested in this uh, type of RV. So we're just looking for something to eat. Look at that. We are inside a monster of an RV. This is huge. This uh, bunk beds here to the left. This is a forest river which is almost $300,000, way, way over budget for us. Even with the Sunstar, we're pushing the limit of our budget. Then we have this fifth wheel which is practically a... Oh. 
Look at that. This is really in our beads. Huge. Yeah, some of these fifth wheels are very luxurious. It feels like a condo in here. We get uh, briefly enticed by the lower prices and great features of the Thor motorhomes. I mean, look at all the storage in the bedroom and in the pantry. However, after posting our feelings about it on the Living the RV Dream Facebook group, we get discouraged real quick. Apparently, it's not a quality product. Oh well, we still decide to check it out, but now we know. Here. Moving right along, we go back to the Itascas. There's that table there that I don't know if I'm gonna like this. This could be a pain in the ass to get into the back there. The kitchen, lots of room. Here and there. This is another possibility. There is something about the bed being sideways that I don't particularly like. I don't know why. But this one also has a pretty ample storage in the bedroom and I'm really starting to like these Itasca units. Also, they're Winnebago cousins. Let's see if I fit in here. Ah, uh, yes, actually, quite nicely. We are having such a great time and there is some outdoor entertainment too. I'm so glad we came early. The fairgrounds are getting packed and it's not even noon. They even have this tram ferrying people around. Monaco's are supposed to be nice, but by this time of the day all the RVs are full of people, so it's almost impossible to explore. The show is way too crowded at this time of the day, so we're gonna take a break pretty soon. But this 28-footer by Fleetwood looks really nice, so let's check it out. Let's see if I fit. Yeah, it's not uh, elbow wise the most comfortable position, but it's not bad. No closet space and uh, our bed. Actually, not bad at all. It is another possible candidate for sure, unless we find out something bad about it. By the way, I'd like to hear your comments and opinions about all this, so please don't be shy. Send your comments. <music> It has a pretty decent storage, I think, for a unit of its size. It is the Fleetwood Storm 28F. And we see more outdoor entertainment. Perhaps it's uh, something I can do when I retire. Talking about retirement, they also have this uh, small area featuring vintage RVs. Pretty cool. Nineteen sixty-one So This is the nineteen ninety-four classic. Here we have a very flashy Newmark King Air with the induction stove, very luxurious. Fully electric, which is something I hear is not very practical. You really depend on that electrical connection at the campground all the time. It has washer and dryer. Actually, this is way too luxurious for my taste. I don't like him when they look so much like a real home. Besides, this is way up there, almost a million dollars. Thank you. 
the cockpit though. Moving right along. Let's keep an open mind and take a look at some travel trailers. Let's check out this uh, brawler. I don't really care for travel trailers, but this is not bad. It feels uh, roomy, even though it is not. And for 39.50, not bad. Another travel trailer. It's pretty cool. I'll, 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 I'll check out the name now. Benito, little bathroom. can open this. There we go. Let's shower. Oh, by the way, they also have uh, some park models, which are these more permanent units. Let's see what these little things are. We have a delicious Cuban sandwich, which, a little known fact, was invented here in Tampa. The show is very exhausting, and after a while all the RVs start to look alike. It's really good that we have this video, just to remember what we saw. Last but not least, let's visit the vendors area. They have all kinds of cool stuff for your RV. Many campgrounds also have booths showcasing their facilities. That's it, that's it. What do we think? What a wonderful land. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and this is it for the RV show as we have shown you what some of our options are as we continue dreaming of the RV life. Sometime in the future, you'll see us cruising down the road in our Itasca Sunstar 27N or something similar. This is the plan. That was actually the original idea for RoadNomad.com, to roam the roads of this great country of ours and hopefully other countries as well. Meanwhile, I hope you continue to enjoy my travel videos right here. We've got some great adventures coming up soon, so stay tuned and please do check out some of our past trips. We've got some great road trips uh, in the archives, such as our California road trip, Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon, Canada and also Puerto Rico. Meanwhile, we are taking the scenic route back to Miami, where we still have our sticks and bricks home. I hope you have enjoyed our brief visit to the RV Super Show. We only scratched the surface here, but had we explored every possibility, this would have been feature film long, not to mention boring. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Ciao!